more plants. Good day plant lovers, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kathy. For all my return visitors, thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm going to show you some plants that I ordered yesterday and I received today. How awesome is that? I don't know if it's a good thing because it means I might order some more in the future, but hey, it's spring, right? So this is the time that we should get plants. Because we're in lockdown in Melbourne, everything is closed. All the shops are closed, including the nurseries. And I found this nursery, which isn't very far from me. It's called Greenery House, I believe, in Brunswick. And I'll correct myself on the screen if I got it wrong. And I actually only ordered these plants yesterday. So I was really surprised to find out that they're going to be delivered today. And I'm ecstatic. And because they were sent by courier, they're not packaged up as such. They're put in a paper bag and then just dropped off in front of your door. How brilliant is that? So I already have my new babies and I wanted to share them with you. Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you will not be surprised that several of them, if not most of them, are peperomias. So let's start off with this one. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I love it. This one is called Peperomia Moonlight. Oh, it is just stunning. It has really beautiful ridged leaves. They do look like the caparatas, and I would say that this is probably another cultivar, but it is just lovely. I love the color. It's almost a grayish green, and it's a very healthy plant, as you can see, just gorgeous. However, it is potted up in peat moss. Ugh. I absolutely hate peat moss, especially with peperomias. I always seem to have difficulties with overwatering them and killing them. So I am definitely going to repot it, but I'll give it another week or so to just settle into my home. I'm always a little hesitant with repotting peperomias because they have such delicate, fine roots. But honestly, it will do much, much better if I put it in something a bit faster draining in my house rather than if I kept it in the peat moss. Regardless, it's just gorgeous and I love it. Oh, okay, number two. This is my Peperomia Napoli Nights. I think the species is Marmorata and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. But isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I have been wanting the Napoli Nights for quite a while. And as you can see, it has these delicate kind of pinkish tone to it. This is also greyish colour, but the veining is actually a little bit darker. Wow, that is so pretty. <laughs> I really like this one. Wow, that is just stunning. Wow, that is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh. Look at these beautiful little leaves. Oh, I don't know why. I am just obsessed with peperomias. I think I could have all of them. <laughs> I don't always succeed, but I just love them to death. I think they're beautiful, and I love how delicate the leaves are. Let's hope that I can keep this one alive, because it is quite stunning. But, oh, just gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, number three is my string of dolphins. Senecio peregrinus, I think it is. It's just a baby, as you can see, but I like that it's already got a hanging basket. And, oh, they're just so cute. Oh, I don't think they have the dolphin shape yet. So hopefully, now that it's spring, they will develop into that and it will grow. I don't know how fast these grow. I need to do a bit more research, obviously. But regardless, I have definitely been wanting one for quite a while. So I'm really happy that I found one that was a reasonable price and looks quite healthy. Oh, I can't. 
cannot wait to see this trailing. I have the perfect spot for it in my home, so hopefully it will get nice and bushy by the end of summer. Oh, it is definitely adorable. I just love it. So that is my string of dolphins. And the last plant that I bought is this. This is my Peperomia marmorata dark sunrise. <laughs> wow. I think this one is stunning. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is just spectacular. It is really dark kind of, I don't know what grey you would call that. Like a medium to dark grey with really dark veinings. And then look at the airbaxial side of the leaves. Oh my God. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. Wow, I think out of all of them, this one is my favorite. It is just so spectacular. Don't you guys think? Wow, I just love it. This one is stunning. Oh, just gorgeous. I can't get over how beautiful this one is. Don't get me wrong, I think they're all beautiful. But I think out of all of them, this one is definitely my favourite. Oh, I just love it. I can just look at it and look at it and look at it. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I love it to death. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, I think I need probably an hour sitting and just admiring my plants because I always do when I get new plants. I just love this one. I love the contrast of the dark burgundy with this grey colour. It is just stunning. The last thing I bought was also this tiny little pot. <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? i got to say, I think it's really cute, but honestly, it's a little bit smaller than I had hoped. Doesn't matter, I still think it's just gorgeous. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always struggling to find ceramic pots. I really love ceramic pots because I keep all my plants in their plastic nursery containers. So I use ceramic pots as cash pots. I even use terracotta pots as cash pots. But it's very hard to find any. Oh, and it's really hard now because everything's closed. So I'm always struggling to find where I'm going to put my plants. And clearly that doesn't fit. But it might fit with some of the smaller plants that I have. In fact, I think I have something that is perfect for this. So I might give you a shot of that later if it'll fit in here. So yes, that is the last thing that I got with my order. Now I think altogether I paid $90. And it was $10 for shipping, which was through a courier, which I thought was brilliant. I am very impressed with the quality of the plants as well as how quickly they were delivered to my home so great job greenery nursery thank you very much i just love these they're all beautiful and i will definitely be ordering more plants from them oh this is editing kathy i thought i would add some footage of some of my bulbs that are actually in the process of flowering at the moment Well, that's going to be it for this video, short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul of plants. Please do let me know which ones you liked, which ones you didn't. And if you have any care tips, definitely pass them on. I never say no to care tips. You can contact me through Instagram or you can let me know down in the comments below. Also, I'm going to be doing some repotting in the near future because it's really that time of year in Melbourne. I've already asked some of the people who follow me on Instagram to give me any questions that they would like me to answer during these repot videos. But I thought I would also ask you guys on YouTube who may not be on Instagram. And you can put your questions down in the comments below and I will incorporate it into the videos. The last thing I wanted to say was thank you to absolutely every single one of you. I recently hit a thousand subscribers which 
seriously just blows my mind. I was not expecting it. In fact, I gave myself a year to achieve that. So I am really overwhelmed that you guys have subscribed to my channel and it really does mean a lot to me. It makes me want to create more and more videos for you guys. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to all of you. I really do appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos, to comment on my videos. Honestly, it means a lot to me. So thank you very, very much. And as usual, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye. Thank you.